Welcome back, little by a lot. Today we're gonna to work on this awesome shade cell project. I know I've done a video over this, and if you haven't checked it out, well, there's only 120,000 other people that I have, so check that one out. But I'm gonna upgrade it here. I'm gonna put a lot more support into it, uh, and I'm gonna try a different triangle-shaped shade cells versus the rectangle that I had before. I had two rectangle shade cells, 16 by 16. I couldn't get them tight. The wind, especially this time of year, it's March, and uh, it blows 15 to 20 miles an hour almost constantly it seems like we're pretty close to the gulf and so it just blows and blows and blows and blows and so it just really didn't work out for me uh, we had a big storm come in kind of a freak storm came in blew 60 miles an hour dumped a bunch of rain and it filled up that shade cell and just popped well it broke the shade cell and also it pulled out um, i had a bracket where well, i had one of those uh, screw in uh, o-ring deals in there about 12 inches long and it pulled the thing out and shot it about 40 feet so uh, I want this to work so I'm trying different things I'm going to support the heck out of this thing and I'm going to put four triangle shapes uh, they're 16 by 16 by 22 foot something like that so I'm standing by one of my posts here this is just a regular 4 by 4 post and what I've done is I've installed it up into the rafters up there and so of course the rafter comes out into your eave and so I just took some big bolts uh, lag screws really and lag screwed it into there supported up around ran some extra two by fours cut into the eave all that kind of good stuff and then I anchored it down at the bottom there with a uh, concrete anchor uh, post anchor sorry like I said these are just four by fours this is really more for more support for the uh, braces that come across I could have run them into well this is the easiest way I think it should be done. So I'm running these beans with two 2x6s. This is a 22 foot 6 inch span. And so I can't get it with one just 2x6. And so I got some 16 foot 2x6s. I'm going to laminate, laminate them together with some uh, liquid nails and then a whole bunch of screws. The screws are about 12 to 14 inches apart. I'm putting two on top of each other. And uh, just kind of screw them together, letting everything set and dry. And then I'm going to post them up onto my post over here and I'm just running three I got one two three I got three big posts see so you got one post two posts and then three posts this is part of the uh, previous shade cell project and so I'm just gonna upgrade everything and then I'm gonna add those brackets on there make sure everything's secure throw in the shade cells hopefully that works well and go from there so I have my gold plated wood here which nowadays wood is super expensive but I got my gold plated wood just kidding guys this is just regular wood uh, and I'm going to laminate those together liquid nails screws got to make two more of them I had one already previously made it's worked out really great it's been sitting out there for about nine months now nine ten months and it's worked out really good uh, it was kind of a trial from which what should I do and it's worked out great it hasn't had any shift it hasn't had any sag in it so it's working out great so I'm gonna make two more just like it and that'll support the whole structure they keep lateral from here and so when those shade cells are pulling in so like when you tighten those turnbuckles and pull it in that'll give it from those posts from leaning over over time and even though the four by six facing the right direction it should be they're still going to lean over so this will keep them from leaning over it'll i sure hope it's more supported than it was before i've added a lot more extra wood a lot more brackets and i think it's going to work out great Next step is to uh, stain it and we'll sand it and then stain it and then we're going to throw these things up get them bolted in with the brackets and then we're going to hang the shade cells i'm going to sand it using my dewalt battery powered with an 80 grit 
uh, sandpaper on it, and then I'm going to use this Thompson's water seal. This is a semi-transparent. This is acorn brown. It matches the rest of the patio build that we're doing, and it seems to last pretty good. Um, it's been up for about a year, and you can tell it's weathered a little bit, but the stain still looks good, and it seems to be helping the wood out. Obviously, this is just a protector for that. And um, so, anyways, sand and stain. Here we go. I'll tell you what, everything else might be out of square, but these distances here between all three of them are all exactly 22 feet, six and one half inches. Pretty sweet. Because two two by fours put together is only three inches and these are three and a half inches, it's a four by fours. I can't just simply put the two two by fours in the middle of that because I'm gonna have this half inch deal. And so I could have put a half inch plywood in between the two two by fours, I mean two two by sixes, and it may have Man, yeah, it probably would have made it more strong, but man, wood right now is like three times more expensive. And this one behind me, which you can't see, but it's been there for about nine months. It doesn't sag. I'm working with it. I got a couple of different types of brackets. This is just a uh, 90 degree bracket here. This is where one end of the two by six is going to sit on top of. And then the one that's butted up against the four by four, I'm gonna use this um, bracket here. And it's going to secure everything together nice and tight. Going to open these up, get them installed. They come with ropes. We're not going to need those. I've got some chain here with uh, my turnbuckle, and I just call them carabiners. I think they're called something else, but I just call them carabiners. So they're one eighth inch quick links, 480 pound working rate, uh, stainless steel. That's what they're called. Uh, basically, it's about the same width of the uh, chain itself. These are stainless steel. Hook it around your chain, hook it around the hook of the shade sail, like so. Tighten it up. Hook this to your turnbuckle. Put it in your lag hooks. Tighten them up. Fix your chain to whatever length you need it to. And just tighten them up when you get up there. And that's pretty much about it. So these are the shade sails that I'm going with. They're triangle shaped. Well, Restore, resort style shaped triangles. So it's 16 by 16 by about 22 and a half. That way you can put one on each side because if you put an actual triangle, like a, like a regular triangle, one would have to be in the middle and then you wouldn't be able to, you could overlap them, but it wouldn't work out the way I wanted to work out. So I'm on 16 by 16 by 23. I'm going to be able to put two in each bay, I guess you would say. So there's one, two, one, two, so there's four of them. They're 
$34.99 on Amazon. This is the uh, Terra color. You get different colors, blues and tans and whatever you want. I've installed my hooks. The lag hooks there, they're uh, two, uh, they're actually like three, three and a half inches long, but they went um, about two and a half inches, two and three quarters inches into the wood. I brought it out three foot from the eave because obviously you don't need shade on the eave. And the way that this is designed, designed is that it's 22 and a half feet this way, but it's only 18 and a half feet this way. So I can't get a bigger shade cell because they wouldn't stretch tight this way. So I have to bring them out a little bit. And it doesn't cover 100% of everything, but you can see it covers a lot. And that's what we're looking for. So let me open this one, see if we can get it strung out like I want. Get it done. If you made it this far in the video, smash that subscribe button, comment on the video, give it a thumbs up or a thumbs down, whatever you want. It's free either way. Subscribe is free, commenting is free. Everything is free with YouTube, right? It's done, I love it. I think it's gonna rain tonight, so I'm gonna show you guys uh, how permeable these cells are, or shade cells are. It rained the other day, it drizzled through them. It was just fine. This is project's done, I've been wanting to do it for well, basically since the old shade cell uh, got demolished in the storm. If you haven't seen that video, I got a couple of videos out of the first attempt at shade cell, and then my second, well, the failure of that one. This is my second attempt. I think this is gonna last a lot longer. I'm excited, guys. I can't wait for uh, really the springtime, the 80 degree, 90 degree, and 100 degree weather, so I can put some shade on here. We're gonna put a pool out here again. Gonna love it. Till next time, guys. See you on the next one.